could get a load of me. Welcome to another Raspberry Pi project. This one I like to call the Joker Clock. So we have the classic Lego uh, Joker alarm clock, which I've stripped down. And as you can see there, straight in front is the Pimeroni Micro Dot Fat. Um, fantastic little uh, LED scroll of this. And again, as if by magic, as if those uh, guys and girls at Pimeroni knew, it fits perfectly into the housing where the Lego uh, clock would have been. So I've stripped that out and uh, removed some of the innards and uh, it fits quite nicely in there on a Pi Zero W um, using the uh, wireless version of the Pi Zero so that I can connect to the network um, and access a real-time clock because uh, obviously it is a clock, it is a joker clock and it needs to give you an accurate up-to-date time. So uh, here we've got a portable battery, USB here micro USB to normal USB cable here, fits in the back. Uh, did use a right angled USB as well to get the um, to get it to fit all into the, 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 the character. And um, yeah, I didn't want to be drilling through the legs and uh, removing too much of the, the, the Joker. So right angled USB works quite well. Um, Bluetooth speaker, because also the Raspberry Pi W has inbuilt Bluetooth, which you'll see is very important in a minute for what the Joker does. So I'll show you it and uh, then we'll have a chat about how it works. So I'm going to power it up. Uh, it's got a script that runs on boot up. There's about a 20 second delay. Um, the reason for that is so that it can connect to the Bluetooth speaker. Otherwise, what would happen is if it didn't have the delay, the program would load. It wouldn't be connected to the Bluetooth speaker, and then the sound wouldn't uh, wouldn't work. So that means that the Bluetooth speaker is connected. This city deserves a better class of criminal. Now I'm going to give it to her. So the time is uh, 9.33, only 12 seconds. Nice clock there. Where do we begin? However, at random points, the Joker clock shouts out. Joker phrases at you. Here we go. So I wanted to make a clock um, that told the time, obviously, because what else do clocks do? It is easy to meet the Joker. But I also wanted to do something different and uh, decided that it'd be quite good because people look at clocks to find out what the time is. You could have a random uh, Joker statement or phrase shouted out to you. Uh, I've turned the volume down a bit, but obviously you can crank it up full and uh, it does scare people. It is easy to meet the Joker. So there's about 12 random Joker phrases that are stored in the uh, in, in the folder and a Python program cycles through and at random intervals in the time it picks one of those files, streams it. Here we go. This could be tricky. Uh, streams it via the Bluetooth to the Bluetooth speaker. And of course you can add more phrases if you want to. When the new Joker movie comes out, perhaps I'll take some classic lines from them, make them into MP3s and drop it into the folder. And then the Joker clock can shout them out too. Begin. But the nice thing about it, it's all self-contained. Begin. All self-contained, uh, runs automatically on boot up and obviously to end it, to finish it, I could just basically take the power out. Uh, the only thing you require is a Bluetooth speaker. Let's turn that around, have a look at the back. 
So I'll just remove the alarm button from the back there, you can see. Um, and that's where the USB cable comes out. But the rest of it is still intact. Obviously these buttons don't work. Uh, don't need any batteries in it because we're all running from, from that USB portable battery. And uh, the VNC is enabled as well. So if I want to add extra files or alter the code or edit it, I can uh, remote in via my desktop. So I'll go quick look through the code for the Joker program. Uh, you can download this from my GitHub uh, repository or off of techoed.co.uk. Um, <clears throat> so uh, first of all, thing to say is here is a quick 30 second delay. This is because, uh, as I said in the intro, that you need to have a bit of a delay to allow the Bluetooth speaker to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Um, then clear the screen. Uh, set the brightness to one because obviously the LEDs they get very bright and uh, we don't want to you know, burn our eyes out. Here's the string which is displayed at the beginning um, and then here the mp3 files are stored in this folder and obviously number six is the intro and uh, this plays. Then we've got some example code from Pimeroni. Um This is to display the, the string. So here's what it says. The Joker will see you now. And if you remember at the beginning, it flashes up. And this is the code here from Pimeroni that does that. And then we've got the actual part of the clock. So I'm using date time here, pulling out the information, um, separating it down into its individual characters, and then uh, writing them back to the micro dot, micro fat dot. Uh, here, um, so basically, yeah, what happens for the random speech is uh, the program picks a number between 1 and 1,500. And then um, if the speech, if that value is less than 10, then it selects one of the 12 uh, Raspberry Pi files or MP3 files. Uh, so in the folder, I have the different themes. Uh, this well, the different sayings, should I say not themes, I have different sayings. And uh, yeah, so if the, it picks a random number between 1 and 1,500, if that number is less than 10, then it triggers this line to run, which is selecting a number between 1 and 12. On the Raspberry Pi, each of the files, the MP3 files, are numbered um, 1.mp3, 2.mp3, so that uh, the the program picks the file and then plays the the saying which is just here obviously if you want the uh, um, if you want the program to shout out less often then obviously increase this number if you want it to uh, shout out all the time then obviously change this to 10 and then it will trigger it to, to say every single time uh, so that's really simply uh, the program very basic um, be nice to see what you can do with it uh, mod it make your own version uh, remember the great thing about uh, the Pimeroni products well one of the great things because there's many great things is that you can fit any of the fats in there and there's a number of different ones so it'd be quite interesting to see what you could do okay that's all from me and the Joker thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see you with my latest hack thanks again